Granny Takes a Trip closed in 1973, but John Pierce had shown that tailoring could be flamboyant and colorful, qualities that would broaden the appeal of the craft to a whole new type of customer, women. Let's go. Taylor Edward Sexton came to fame in the 1970s by creating tailored suits that combined the flamboyance of Granny Takes a Trip with the elegance of Savile Row. When the show starts, I need to be at that door to check every detail. It's a style that celebrities of the day, such as Bianca Jagger, loved, and it lives on in his latest catwalk show. I think it's nicer when these are when these are pulled back just like that, as opposed to putting solo tape on the tits. You have to be a lot more aggressive with ladies' work to fit these wonderful curves. A lot of the companies in Zabro possibly could do it, but they don't want to do it. Um, I wanted to do it. And I went out of my way to find out how to do it. OK, can everybody not involved with the show please get out? No, because it's too crowded. Edward Sexton has been creating tailored suits for women for almost 40 years. He joined forces with designer Tommy Nutter in 1969 to launch Nutters of Savile Row. Together, the pair created lavish suits for stars like Twiggy. Girls couldn't go out and buy boyish jackets and you couldn't do it, they didn't exist. So I used to go to Tommy and he would tailor down his, his suits. This was to be Twiggy's. You see the emphasis on this shoulder, the, the real 40s feel. A very nipped in waist, very sexy, very feminine. I've still got one that I love. I can't get in it anymore, but it's in cherry red velvet. It's a man's three piece suit edged in a red satin. It's beautiful, beautiful. The combination of Sexton's tailoring skills and Tommy's flair for style and socializing would make Nutters the tailor of choice for the rock aristocracy. Tommy was the charmer with all the, the ideas and the energy, I think. If, and if Tommy's was the, the mind, Edward's were the hands, he could translate what was in Tommy's head and get it on the cutting board and, you know, make it happen. But it took somebody like Sexton and Nutter to bring those trendy little things to the row. You could be a duke or a duchess and you could be hanging out with pop stars and tailors and pimps and hookers and, you know, all life was there. It just sounded like an absolute riot and it translated into the, into the clothes. You could see how much fun they were having. Nutter's heyday came to an end in the 1980s when Tommy and Edward parted company. Tommy died in 1994, but his spirit survives in Sexton's work today. I've not really moved too far away from the, the, the Nutter look throughout my career because I believe it is elegant, it's romantic, it, it, it's, it's, it's style. What do you think he would have made of it today then? If he oh, he'd have loved it. I spoke to him last night. 